ABC 13 Eyewitness News This Morning starts now. Hundreds of competitors uh, representing 15 countries are taking over ESPN wide world of sports at Disney World for the Invictus Games. Britain's Prince Harry is co coordinating the Olympic style competition for wounded veteran. As ABC's Elizabeth Hurt tells us, the athletes will be competing in 10 sports from archery to cycling. Prince Harry at Disney World with war heroes from around the world going for gold. The main feeling that I'm getting is it's just real excitement. The atmosphere is going to be incredible. More than 500 military athletes are in Orlando, Florida to compete in the Invictus Games, the only international sporting event for wounded warriors. I have to pinch myself, you know, to make sure I'm not dreaming. This shows that we can really battle through adversity and we can still be, you know, productive members. The Prince launched the competition two years ago in London to show showcase the unconquerable bravery and spirit of service men and women, the U.S. playing host this year. Leading to the Royals having some fun with President Obama and First Lady Michelle. Hey, Prince Harry, remember when you told us to bring it at the Invictus Games? Careful what you wish for. Oh, really? Please. And with that, let the games begin. The opening ceremony is on Sunday. Then the military athletes will compete in 10 events over five days. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. And speaking of world-class athletes, we have several right here in the Houston area. In fact, one Woodlands uh, native has Olympic dreams. Four years ago, Cassidy Cook watched the London Summer Games from a hospital. But tonight at 10, see how the 20-year-old diver overcame se several injuries to return to the pool and compete again and how she plans to dive for the U.S. at the upcoming Games in Rio. ABC 13 Eyewitness News continues with Tom Abrams and Natasha Barrett. Well, tonight we have an incredible story of really just never giving up. Four years ago, Cassidy Cook watched the Summer Olympic Games from her hospital bed. And now, after overcoming multiple injuries, the Woodlands native is just an event away from making the U.S. Olympic diving team and heading to Rio. It started early. You could tell this four-year-old from the Woodlands was something special. As soon as I was old enough to start jumping off the boards, I did, and the rest is history. Cassidy Cook is a hometown name to watch for the Summer Olympics. She was a member of the U.S. national diving team in 2012, but Cassidy missed out on competing in the Olympics by just 0.4 points four years ago. Did you think, okay, I'm done? Um, no, I never tried to think like that. Uh, there's points where I got scared that I would never be as good as I was. A shoulder injury sidelined Cassidy, dampening her dreams at the London Olympics. She's dealt with a knee injury, a stress injury to her back. She can go all day. Now she's healed and set to shine at the Olympic diving trials in June. So I don't really feel like there's so much pressure on me. I just kind of go out there and have fun because that's when I compete my best. Cassidy's drive probably comes from her pedigree. It's been nice and easy and back up. Her father played football at Columbia University. Her mother played basketball at West Point. And Cassidy's five siblings aren't too shabby either. Kevin, Kara, Kelsey, Kylie, and Kendall are all athletes. Very accomplished parents there. Yeah, definitely. They definitely have a molded me into uh, the person I am. So is Cassidy's doctor, Mark Yazak. The chiropractor also worked with Olympic gold medalist Laura Wilkinson, also from the Woodlands. Did you see parallels between the two? I did. I mean, you saw a certain level of drive you just don't see in the everyday athlete. You just don't see it. Dr. Yazak sidelined Cassidy after her back injury so she could compete again. It wasn't easy. You get in a situation where your heart goes into it, not just you making medical decisions. There's always one side that's just a bit tighter. Cassidy took off her junior year at Stanford University yeah. for one thing. Your number one goal right now is what? Um, to make the Olympics. Not just that, though. The goal doesn't stop at just making it. You, I want to win it. Yeah, she does. And Cook placed seventh at the Swimming World Cup back in February. That performance clinched a spot for the U.S. team in the event at the Summer Olympics. So in June, she'll have to dive well enough at the Olympic trials to ensure she's the one diving for the U.S. and Rio. So good luck. ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 5...
Thank you, Marla. And another Mother's Day story. Tonight at 10, we have an incredible story of perseverance, a gift for, to a family. Four years ago, Woodlands native Cassidy Cook watched the London Summer Olympics from her hospital bed. Instead of teetering atop a diving board, she wondered if she would ever be as good as she once was. Um, no, I never try to think like that. Uh, there's points where I got scared that I would never be as good as I was. Four years later, the 20-year-old is just one event away from making the United States Olympic diving team headed to Rio. You'll hear how she overcame multiple injuries to compete again and how she is determined to not just make it to the Games, but win gold. That story tonight oh, at yeah. 10. Nobody she was a lot of fun to meet. Yeah, that's your story. Uh, we'll be presenting story. tonight at 10. Yeah, it was fun to go up there and meet her, and she is squared away. She's going to win. She, mm -hmm. She's ready. Looking forward to seeing that story. Yeah.